Alright, that's the recipe. Now everybody knows it. It's our secret. Alright, now show them how to make it. Okay, so we're gonna put in four cups of heavy cream. How heavy does that have to be? Oh, it's heavy. Oh no, what kind of truffles are you making today? Just chocolate truffles. Chocolate? Those are like, when, back when I used to eat them, those are probably my favorite. Are those like the most popular? Um, well, no, we we put this in a premium box mm. with uh, other little chocolate covered cherries, um, uh, sea salt caramels, there's one. like all the big stuff to three so practically the whole thing four, yeah almost the whole thing <laughs> and when you said four cups you didn't fill it up like completely to the brim so well no could be even a little less than four cups well I didn't fill it to the top cuz Actually, um, when you're forming the truffles by hand, uh, if you, it might be possibly a little too soft. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I undercut the cream just a tiny bit each each cup. So it's just a little bit less than four cups. Yeah. Okay. Actually, if you want to be technical. About Te technical. There's two T's in technical. Okay. <laughs> You want to be okay. technical, Max. Okay. G E T N I C H A L. <laughs> okay. So then, uh, after you put the little bit less than four cups in there, now we got to get it come to a boil when the bubbles come around the whole inside okay. on the inside of there. Yep. Then, as soon as that happens, you turn the heat right off. Mm. Okay. Is this plugged in? Yeah, it might help, huh? <laughs> All right, so we'll be back in a couple minutes. Yep. Five minutes later. I think Dad forgot that we were making a. They were making a video. What? So what did you? Uh, what'd you put in there? I just put in milk chocolate from the melter. I don't want to put any more in though. Yeah. So just imagine. I just put it in there. <laughs> just imagine the all that chocolate is going in there. I remember my first video. Yeah. It weighs five pounds, a little over, just a tiny bit over. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna put in mold inhibitor. I'm putting in two teaspoons. What is it exactly, the mold inhibitor? What's it mold called? Mold inhibitor? Well, it makes it so that uh, the heavy cream will last longer, because this will be in, uh, Makes the shelf life uh, three to four months instead mm -hmm. of without refrigeration. All right, so it looks like it's ready now, huh? Yep. Turn it off. We'll pour it in here. Let me put this in the sink, okay? Okay. Splashing it. Yeah. <laughs> don't want to splash it everywhere. You don't want to go too fast. Mm, because of the splashing? Yeah. Is there anything that you could like mess up during this part of it if you do anything certain way? No, I don't think so. Mix it, like if, if, is there such thing as mixing too much? No, the longer you do it, the smoother it will be. But um, remember, it gets cold and gets thicker and harder. So. Mm. You want to do it so long. Yeah. So expect it to get thicker? Yep, it'll, it'll get thicker. 
just want it to be all thoroughly mixed. Now you can eat it off the... Yeah. <laughs> There's no eggs in there. Now if you do it at home, you can just use one pound of chocolate, melt it up slowly, don't get it real hot, just melt it. And then... Um, you can melt it to uh, just like 100 degrees, right? Yeah, just uh, when you're melting chocolate at home, when it's halfway melted in a little pan, turn the heat off and just keep stirring it until it's all melted. Mm. Just, and then just let it leave it that way and then do your uh, heavy cream one cup of cream and then mix them together and then uh, leave it put a um, cellophane over the top and put it in the refrigerator overnight and the next day you might take a spoon and take a um, spoonful and then roll it with your hands to a round ball Dad, you're giving away all the surprises for the next part of the video. <laughs> That's coming up, yeah. But you can do that at home. And then chuck and cover them or roll them in cocoa. Wow, now everybody knows all all the secrets. Don't yeah. even have to watch the rest of the video. Yeah, don't even oh, have to watch man. it. Oh, man. Oh, that's what cellophane looks like, huh? That's it. Now everybody knows. <laughs> the secret's out. <laughs> cellophane. Can't get that stuff yeah definitely can't get that at uh, Wegmans or Aldi's or Walmart voila 24 hours later this is how you make truffles oh. one at a time <laughs> how long does it take you to go through that whole little bowl well big bowl I should say well most of the day most of the day just rolling them out yeah this is kind of like clay yeah yeah if you're making them at home, you can make them any size you want. And I would suggest when you make them at home, just make the one pound size. Yeah. Uh, batch, I mean, one pound batch, not. That's a giant a, batch? This is a five pound batch. Yeah. But. Do you have any like, tips or tricks? Like, do, you have a, do you start doing it one way and then figure out like, it's a better way to. Something well, just take it out of the refrigerator in the morning and put your spoon in there and just start going at it. Start going at <laughs> it. <laughs> That's all you do. <laughs> it's pretty eventful. All right, let's get let's get some RTB roll here. Whoa! It's kind of anticlimactic since there's only three rolls right now. <laughs> you know. So after you make. Uh, a tray's worth or whatever you make at home, put them in the refrigerator so that they can harden up more. Then, because uh, otherwise they'll get real soft and hard to chocolate cover. Mm -hmm. So if they're harder to chocolate cover, it'll be uh, easier to chocolate cover them when they're hard rather than soft. The very next evening. We're back. 
Is this the first or second tray you've done so far? This is my first tray. Oh, this is your first tray? Yep. Just tempering the chocolate right now? Yep, just just about there now. Oh, it's tempering. How fancy I am, Dad. <laughs> Getting in in the way of your arm. Is there any tips or tricks for when you're chocolate covering them? <laughs> well, uh, it'd be better if you're experienced at it. But <laughs> wow, that's a great tip. Is there any tips? Um, like, uh, I don't know, have you ever, like, when you first started, did you uh, accidentally squish any of them? Like, or, like, is there anything that you did differently uh, as you kept going? No, if you like covering us orders or anything else, uh, you just, or uh, pretzels, and just chuck a cover them fully and just drop them off onto the, onto your uh, tray or whatever you're dropping them off onto. So if you know how to chocolate cover other stuff, this is like the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing basically. You just take it and cover on it and dropping it off with your finger. Mm, whose idea was it to put the chocolate sprinkles on it? Mine. That was your idea? Yep. Oh. You're so Mine. Advanced. It's your idea. Forget mom. We used to make them just plain chocolate ones. Yeah. And then I thought, well, let's, I said, why don't we put sprinkles on them? And your mom goes, genius! She said, I knew that's why I marry you. <laughs> See? Mm-hmm. Good for something. I guess she's going to keep you after all, huh? Yeah. So how long have you guys been making truffles for? Five years. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Well, I don't know. It's been a while. I don't, I don't know. I never thought about that when we started. It's just, that's a tough question. Yeah, that's a hard question. I don't know. I'm full of tough questions. Five, six. So artsy fartsy. And then we'll do them in dark chocolate too. Yeah. How many trays did you get done? A lot. Five and a half trays. Are they all on this like road? Five pounds. Here? Yep, they're inside. Alright, do you need one anyway? Like, do you want me to grab you one? Alright. I'm working off the clock now. Oh okay. I will be careful. I'll shut the door afterwards because I'm not quite skilled enough to shut it with my foot like you guys are. I, haven't, I don't really have any practice. Just set it here. Okay. Please. Please. Thank you. You're welcome. I gotta shut the door before I get the suds. Whew. That was a close one. Hmm. So, you're gonna do how many of these with uh, milk and how many with dark? Half. Half and half? Half and half. Half and half. And these are the, the vegan marshmallows I've got uh, from Wegmans. Yep. And we just got vegan chocolate the other day. This is the ingredients if you guys are interested. And there's a lot of light shining on it. Well, it does say cane sugar, so I don't know how they get their sugar, but I think most of the time cane sugar is from bone char, so I don't know. But it doesn't contain any animal ingredients like gelatin. And that's what really counts. All right, Dad. I guess we'll we'll come back when you guys are packaging these up. Am I supposed to pretend you're not there? Yeah, pretend I'm not here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what are you doing? Um, right now I am putting these dark chocolate truffles into little cups, like that. It's hard work, but. Yeah. 
Do you have any tips and tricks for people at home who are putting putting yeah. truffles into cups? <laughs> uh, well, Terry, she told me to do it this way, and it's faster to put all the cups out on top. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the way I do it, because I trust her. <laughs> Is it weird having a boss named Terry? Uh, like, do you feel like you're talking in third cool. person? Sometimes I don't know who's talking to who. So. <laughs> <laughs> if it sounds important, I just ignore it, because it's probably not me. <laughs> Mom, do you get confused? Yeah, and that's when I'm just talking to myself. So <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine how she feels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me go into this box right here. Wow. Scientific. Like <laughs> this. <laughs> wow. Maybe you can do a slow mo thing. Craig? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, slow it down. People and might get confused. And with that music, like do do do, you know that kind what, of music? What music? No, no, no. Wait, no. Did I do it again. <laughs> do, do do do. Yeah, yeah, like that, like really, like sexy music that comes on when they're doing like food oh. shots, you know? On YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm yep. So. So how many do you fit in each row? Uh, five across. And then, I'm not sure how many goes that way. I forgot. <laughs> a little more than five? <laughs> it's my first time doing this. Oh, really? The truffles. I've done the sorted, so yeah. it's the same. Yeah, it's, it's the, the same, same thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if anybody's done assorted chocolates at home, then, you know, it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, Craig. This is the moment you're... I've been waiting for. You've been waiting for, but I feel like a lot of people have been waiting for it, because they wanted to see... Because the scale got certified? Yes. Our scale did just get certified. The scale right here that Paul... Custis from the um, Palace of Sweets sent us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he didn't know if it was accurate or not because last time it was inspected was in 1998. <laughs> well, guess what? This is accurate as heck. Yeah, as heck. As heck. This is a two pound weight. What does that say? 2.00. Two. Two. Two pounds. Wow. Yeah, so and it just got Paul, certified by our, our certifier. Our Department of Weights and Measures certifier, yes, but yeah. he declines to be part of this video. I don't know why, but yeah, apparently he's in the witness protection program or something. That's like just that. something like that. Yeah. Anywho, we'll leave his social security number in the description. I think it's already there. I think he had it right. Wait, on the what shirt. are you laughing at? It's no, very serious. <laughs> okay, so apparently y'all have been interested in how we make our truffles. So I believe uh, you documented that. So now I'm going to show you how we put them in a box. We use these for two things. Just a box of truffles, so that would be just all truffles, and then we use them in our premium assortment, which Whoa. is all of our fancy dancy things. Fancy dancy? Fancy and dancy, yes. So the fancy dancy things include chocolate covered cherries, sea salt caramels, and truffles. Wow. The, the big stuff, basically. Yes. They're all kind of big. <laughs> so, I'm, if I put in one of each in my nine-piece box, I'm gonna have to go back and put in one more of each. Whoa. Does that math work out for you? I think so. Okay. I think I'm following. All right. So yeah, so now we can do our premium assortment. It's a happy, exciting day for us. Yeah. So that's that, and it does look pretty uh, darn fancy. You just put that together pretty well. Yeah, this does is it my always first look exactly time. like that, or is it kind of no, switch things around No, I switch things up like nobody's like business. Like heck? You know I'm going to do I mean, that. I don't like to swear on camera, but I don't switch either. them up like heck. I do. There's a heck of a lot of switching up. Now, the one thing is people are going to be like, oh, can I order this on the website? I don't have it on there because these sprinkles might fall off. Mm. If you're okay with that, send me an email. Tell me what you want, and I will send you an invoice. Like, you know the drill. <laughs> a nine-piece box is fifteen ninety-nine. That's the premium Wait, you gotta, assortment. Gotta tell it that there's lights on the. There you go. Now you can see it. Wow. And a four-piece box, which I'll do next. That's half. Just as, as riveting. It's half as action-packed as this one was. Wow. The four-piece box is seven ninety-nine. So if that's something you want, you know. Send me an email, send me an invoice. You know the drill. We'll work it out. Whoa, there's gold? Gold. You didn't mention that. I felt like they can tell by colors and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so, four piece box. Just gonna do one of each of these premium things. The nine piece, you basically get eight plus an extra. It's a bonus one, huh? Yeah, that's exactly what a nine-piece box mm -hmm. is. 
It's a double box plus a bonus. Yeah. What's this? Just, they'll just ask for that. Can I get the double block, double box plus a bonus? Yeah. And we'll know exactly what you're talking about. How about the nine piece box? No, no, no. I want the double plus the bonus. Yeah. Like, I like, want my money. It's like worth. the baker's dozen minus four. Yeah. Because the baker's dozen is how many? Thirteen. You know it. They taught you that in the, the learning book learning place? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do one that's just truffles. Now, one thing that's a little different this time of the year, we only make chocolate truffles. Chocolate truffles? Chocolate truffles. The rest of the year we also do. He raspberry. talks like that. The rest of the, the rest of your sentence. The rest of the day, I, I don't know. Do it again. Talk at Tuffles. I don't think I can do I that. I think you just use T's for everything. Talk at Tuffles. And don't use your R's. No R's and use extra T's, just for one sentence. I can't do that. <laughs> I, That's too hard. I can't do that. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, you know, let me go do a couple of shots and then I'll do it. Okay. Without trying. No. Basketball shots. It's too. No, the basketball hoops down. I can't do that either. Oh, because oh, yeah. you took it down because you're you're hanging out with your friends last night playing, and you guys <laughs> yeah. wanted to dunk. And, and I said, the Mom, there's no the way ball. you can dunk at ten feet. And you said, No, no, I definitely can. And I got in trouble for deflating the ball. Yeah. And, and I just sent you to your room, and, and it was just a whole big thing. Yeah. And then the bed broke. Anywho, chocolate tuffles. Chocolate tuffles. Normally we do four flavors when we do truffles during our busy season, but this is the less busy season, but folks have still been demanding the truffles, so we just do plain chocolate. No Irish cream, no raspberry, no orange. And, you know, just deal with it. So, if we were to ship these, the sprinkles would probably fall off. So there's that. And the... The uh, lid is a little bit different. You want to guess what it might say? Mm, half size box. No. No. No bonus. No. Hercules candy. Chocolate tuffles. That's right. And because there's no window, we're gonna put a little pad on top. So that's how you tell the truffles from the premium assortment. And do we have a four piece box, you ask? I sure yes. did. Yes, we do. Wow. Let's see if I can find it. Is that one gold too? Yes, the four piece tray is gold. They don't have a gold one for the nine piece one, I know. It's, mm, geez, it's little... sad, but, I'm but there you have it. Guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Deal with it. Your chocolate tuffles. Mm -hmm. It's like Terry Talk. Terry Talk. Oh, Terry Talk. Talk, talk, talk with tuffles. Terry. We should uh, we should have a segment of that. Talk with Terry. Yeah. And she just be, doesn't say her R's and <laughs> just, <laughs> just adds extra T's and everything. There you go. Oh, should I put a little yeah. gold loop on it? Okay. Yeah, and show me where they go in the store. So if somebody comes in the door and they're like, what? I can't find them. I've looked all over this whole store. Where are the chocolate tuffles? It took me 10 seconds to look over the whole store and I couldn't find it. Well, of course, I'm going to have to rearrange things, you know. Probably mm. I'll put them right in front of them, our turtles. Yonder. Over, over yonder. yonder. Yeah. That's what I'll do because there's, there's like a big old bunch of white here. So I feel like we can reduce it down just a bit and, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it here. Mm. Because then you'll have your contrast. You got your white and your gold and your red, and then back to your white mm -hmm. instead of putting all your white together. Because yeah. that's boring. So yeah, that is totes what I'm gonna do. Totes the goats, bro. Yeah. Look, you can go. Yes. Okay. I think all goats are. Well, some of them eat tin cans. Well, I guess that's easy. Yeah. It's not an animal. It's not. Do you have any tips and tricks at home for anyone moving their uh, chocolate pecan turtles? Don't let gravity have oh. <laughs> Mom! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Do you hear what I said? <laughs> Don't let gravity, what were you were gonna say? Don't let gravity happen to them. <laughs> like that. Like that. <laughs> Don't let that happen. <laughs> Don't
turn, turn, I, I saw about. I saw your arm like hitting them as you, you said something about gravity. <laughs> you big jinxer. <laughs> I'll wait until the boss sees that. Don't tell corporate. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna do any shots after all. <laughs> not gonna do it. Yeah, you had enough basketball for one night. Yeah, I think it's um, I think it's unnecessary and uncalled for. Yeah. Okay. Be careful, mom. All right, that went off without a hitch. Woo! Yeah. I don't know if I could do it a second time. Yeah. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Terry. Wish her luck. See, you said Terry and I looked up. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember. Oh, wait. You call me mom. Yeah. So remember when we worked together at Pardsies and you called my name for my food and you called mom? They're like, don't don't call her mom. Call her Terry. <laughs> okay, and it feels weird. Yeah. There you go. That's all there is to it. No, Gary, I like wearing my underwear like this.